Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to uh, make a quick video uh, to say hello and sorry that I am unable to be on campus this week. Uh, tested positive for COVID on Saturday. I'm feeling actually kind of okay. Um, so, uh, so I thought I'd make this introductory video for Music 3070, uh, Electronic Music Techniques 2. Um, I'm excited to get started with everybody this semester. It's a nice small group of eight students and um, it's intended to be kind of a level up on what we've been doing last semester. Um, so uh, I'll make this uh, short, you know, sort of face-to-face -face video, and then um, I'll switch around to talk us through the D2L uh, setup and um, the assignment for this week. So uh, you'll need to get the textbook from Textbook Rental. Uh, it's this guy right here. It's a new one. Uh, they were able to get a new text um, this uh, just over break, which is awesome. Uh, and so this is available to you to check out of textbook rental. So please do get that um, at your earliest convenience. Uh, you'll need that to complete this week's assignments. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I'm not able to scan uh, from here really in the same capacity that I can scan uh, at, on campus. So. Uh, since I'm at home, but um, so if if you need a scanned, if you're not able to read the physical textbook, uh, reach out and let me know, and, and of course I'll give you an extension on what's due this week. Um, that said, um, this textbook is a little bit more, um, what's the word? Uh, I guess it's just a bit more in depth um, and and contemplative about aesthetics. The introductory, par uh, the introductory chapter uh, is really a good discussion about who we are as digital musicians and as composers or as makers of, of content um, and where we sort of exist in the timeline of, the, of that. Um, and um, it's worth reading. It might take a little bit because it's a little bit more, maybe more difficult than what we've been reading in the last semester. Um, but I think it's worth worth the, the, the effort um, and it's worth discussing. And so I look forward to being in person, being able to discuss some of these manifestos from history and some of the thoughts from uh, the recent recent past um, and what you have to offer in that light. So our uh, assignments this week will be mostly about that kind of discussion of aesthetics, about the what, what it means to be a digital musician, um, what it meant in the past and what that looks forward to being now. Um, and how you see yourself in that light and how you define yourself. Um, and, and so um, that will be our first steps this, this semester. Um, so as before, there will be uh, some sort of reading guide and study guide each week. The chapters that follow are a little bit less um, introspective. They're, they're, they're more objective and about actual, you know, sort of concepts um, and definitions and more tangible things. Uh, but this first one is a challenge in that it, it asks you to be more, a little bit more subjective and to think about yourself in light of the, the history of our, of our field. Um, and so uh, this week we're going to be doing that and I'm going to ask you to do that sort of outside of class, which is also uh, kind of fun and, and a challenge. So uh, that'll be our reading assignment and study guide this week. And I'll show it to you uh, when I turn the camera around to show the screen on my home setup here. Um, <clears throat> uh, secondly, uh, there is a weekly assignment that we'll do this week um, that is not necessarily a technical sort of lab assignment. There is a part of it that is just basically get access to the EMS downstairs, sign up for a time, get in back into the practice of, of using the studio. But this week, there's not really an assignment. It's just the assignment is just to get in there and to make some sounds that you like um, and to get reacquainted with the space and um, just spend a couple hours just being creative in there and, you know, essentially improvising, uh, finding sounds that you love, finding sounds that you like, um, working with certain processes, you know, remind yourself of what we've done in the past um, and just kind of just, ha just spend time in there. Um, we will probably not have a whole lot of uh, weekly, sh you know, quick fire assignments like we did last semester. This semester, as it is a 30, a 3000 level course, um, the projects will be a little bit more spaced out in specific. Um, I'll ask you to find yourself and your own voice um, this semester a little bit more. 
Um, and uh, so I'm toying around with the design of the of this of the assignments this week this semester are still. Um, but essentially this week it's just a matter of getting in the studio and making some stuff happen that you can that you dig that you really like. Uh, the other half um, is associated with the reading assignment and study guide. So um, after you've done the reading assignment and study guide, um, this assignment asks you to think of yourself, think of who you are as a as a musician right now and who you see yourself, what you see yourself doing in the next five to ten years or so, um, and to develop what the book calls an, an elevator pitch, which is a really great way to describe yourself in a short form, two to three sentences only. Um, and I'm suggesting that you do this after you've done a little bit of free association of, of ideas. So sit down with a piece of paper and a pen and write down a few ideas of who you are, where you've come from, who you are now, and what you want to do in the future. Um, and then string to that together into a few sentences um, that succinctly describes who you are. That elevator pitch is important because it condenses all these thoughts and things that we have in our minds into sort of a focused sort of uh, idea of who we are. Um, and this elevator pitch is, is really important, I think, to you going forward as, as you change and, and do new things, you can add and, and subtract that. Um, this little pitch could also go on your website. So, um, so that's something to do this week, um, and I'll show you that on the D2L platform right now. Okay, so in D2L, um, I just wanted to talk through our, our course website briefly. Um, it's very similar to before. Um, and since it is a 3000 level course, uh, there's a few additions to the syllabus, I believe. Um, as always, um, my office hours are posted here, 10 to 10.50, Monday through Thursday. Uh, if you need to contact me, um, outside of this time, or if you want to meet outside of this time, I'm, I'm always available to email and set up a different time, of course. Um, and our meeting time is the same as last semester, 11 to 12.15, Tuesday and Thursday. Um, this is our course description. Basically, um, we are working with new layers of electronic music, um, interactivity, performability, and other sort of more deeper study of the aesthetics and who you are as a di digital musician. Um, this is your textbook, um, which you will get from Textbook Rental, um, which I'm told is already in, which is fantastic. So um, as this is a 3000 level course, um, we still have the same sort of three module system and the same sort of assignments and study guides and projects and things. However, um, there will be a, um, a paper assignment um, that is a part of this class um, that will basically be one of the projects. And so through a series of assignments, uh, you'll be asked to complete a, a paper. Uh, we'll talk more about that paper as we go. Um, I don't want to worry about that right this minute, but um, especially since I'm not on campus and we're doing this remotely for a minute. Um, but uh, just know that that is an extra sort of layer of this class. It's a three credit class, it's 3000 level, so we have to do some research and some, some writing about what we do. Um, and that will be along with our projects, which again are also going to be a little bit more freer um, for you to express yourself creatively um, and try to push you towards finding your own voice in the field of electroacoustic music. However, we will be striving to uh, take on some concepts of performability, interactivity, meaning the, like live processing of audio, um, creating performable works, uh, improvising, um, and also working with some multimedia, uh, working with some sort of video. Um, so those are our goals for the semester. And you can see that our textbooks mapped chapter-wise into these three modules in, uh, in this way. Um, as this is the first time I'm using this textbook, um, th this might change as we go forward. Uh, but just know that these are our primary goals and uh, I'm excited to get started with that. Um, and this class also aligns with the Napoleon Electroacoustic Music Festival, um, which is uh, January 30th, and I'll talk more about that as, uh, as I'm back on campus. Um, please make a note of that in your, in your timeline. 
So in the first the f this first week, um, all we really need to do is focus on this, this week one content. I haven't fully built the rest of this first module. So I'm just going to be completely honest with you. I just got this book, this text, and and, and I'm I'm working through creating the study guides and the assignments as we go. Um, <clears throat> um, but I'll work on that this week, obviously. But for as far as you're concerned this week, um, we're going to have the same sort of due dates, which is going to be, you know, Monday nights at 10. Um, this first one is a study guide that talks about uh, that, that guides you through um, the first introductory chapter, which I've talked about in the other part of this video. Um, and um, it steps you through the reading assignments, 20 pages. Um, but um, you can kind of, it's, it's very readable and very, very quick, I believe. Um, maybe a little bit more in depth than what we're used to. But these questions will help you, help guide you through some of the concepts here. And if you a answer these as best you can, uh, and then submit this to the Dropbox, that will give you a good overview of this chapter. And we can readdress this once I'm back on campus next week. If you have any questions about the study guide, uh, please let me know. But these operate in the same way they've done last semester. Um, as I said, you'll have to get the physical copy of the book. I don't have the way a way to scan this at home, I don't believe. I may find a way to do that, but we'll see. <clears throat> the, uh, the, this first week's assignment, there's two parts. Uh, the first part is just essentially just to access the EMS as you've done in the past. Uh, sign up for a time and swipe in, um, get things running, um, and turn things on, and make some sounds, and get creative in there. There's really no other directive than that in terms of the creative portion of this week's assignment. But um, please do make a point to get into the studio on a regular basis and make that a part of your weekly practice, is to get in there and to get things done. That is really important. Uh, don't blow off that weekly practice. It's just like you know, sort of training yourself on an instrument. You have to weekly, you have to regularly engage with the studio. Once you've done the uh, study guide, um, please complete the second portion, which is on page 17 of your textbook, which is about generating for yourself what we call an elevator pitch or a uh, uh, basically a succinct summary of who you are as a digital musician. Um, and think about what you do or wish to do as an artist. Jot down in a few words or ideas that come to mind. Um, think about your background and experience and what you wish to do going forward. So this is kind of a preparation. And then finally, you know, boil those thoughts and ideas down into three or four sentences. Or I'm sorry, two to three sentences about who you are as an artist and what your aspirations are. And then upload your elevator pitch to this Dropbox. So you're just going to create a short word doc or something uh, that has this pitch or these three or four sent two to two to three sentences um, and and write those up and put them in the drive box and I'll enjoy reading those um, after they're submitted and that's really it for this first week um, after the we have Monday off and then on Tuesday we'll meet I'll be fine I'm I'll be definitely be back on Tuesday so um, at that point we can re uh, we can re uh, convene and meet in person in the computer lab and talk more about um, this content and what we are going to do in week two. So if you have any questions, definitely reach out by email. Again, I'm sorry I'm not here this week. That's an awkward way to start the term, uh, but I appreciate your patience and um, I look forward to seeing your work on D2L. We'll see you next week.